Hello everybody, welcome to Cheryl Technology Channel. My name is Chris and I'm your host today and in this video we are going to be talking about DVD and Blu-ray ripping software and why you need it. And in this video, if this is your first time to my channel, thank you for joining me where we talk about everything technology, whether it be Linux, virtual machines, servers, or whatever the else there may be, drivers, Linux, whatever else there may be, there's a lot. And in this one, we're going to be talking about why you, the user, need DVD and Blu-ray ripping software and why you have to pay money to get it. The first place I want to start is this is a continuation of my series that I'm doing where I'm transforming from digital to physical media in almost every way. I think music will eventually be a part of this at some point. Sorry for my voice y'all. My sinuses are jacked. Officially jacked. And in this one we're going to explore the conditions of what led me to paying for SIP ripping software because at first I thought that I was going to be able to get everything for free. Mostly I did until I didn't. I'll explain. Um, the first First thing I want to I want to go into is why do you need to pay for ripping software. Now, for those of you who are may not know, ripping is a way of taking the movie, the digital or the physical media that you have, and ripping it to where you pull all the information off the disc. It's like you're making a copy of it and moving it somewhere else. For me, it's moving it to my NAS box to where I can watch through Plex, which I'm gonna do a video on that too, where I can watch it on my personal LAN network myself. I control it. I own all the media. Media. I own the rights to all the media. I own the server. I paid a lifetime license for the server. I bought the server myself with the hard drives. I bought all of it myself. I own it all. It's all mine. Eat that corporate overlord. And in this one, that's what we're going to be talking about. So why did I need to pay for a piece of software? Okay, there's Make MKV Handbrake. Um, there's WinX Platinum, blah, 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 blah. There's a crap ton of them. And I chose this one specifically because I tried every single piece of software that I could find for free. And in the end, I mean, there was some good ones. In the end, this one served the purpose the best. It was the most easy to use. It was the cheapest. And it had the greatest value. And that's why I bought it. What you're seeing here, this $55.95, I paid $39 for it yesterday. And so I bought it. It was a good value and it come with like three pieces of software. It was a great value. And it's a lifetime license, so I never have to pay for it again. For 40 bucks, dude, you can't beat that. That's why is because most of the Blu-ray functionality, you have to have a piece of software will, that will break the encryption. Not really break it. Okay, now I'm going to give you all a disclaimer. Disclaimer. Hear me when I say this. This is for my own personal home use only. I do not take this anywhere else. I mean, I use it on my personal device. I do not distribute, nor do I sell this to anybody. That is the difference. That is what the license says. And eventually I'll do a video on voodoo and all that kind of stuff and what not, not voodoo like black magic but voodoo the the streaming platform because i have a lot of movies on there and i'm, I'm gonna work on a video on that soon so y'all y'all stay tuned for that but anyway back to our point we are i had to pay for that because when you are ripping a blu-ray it is different the size of the media is way bigger one of the things you need to keep in mind is that that's why i needed to pay for all this software is because i needed a way to rip it reliably every single time and it works every time. I'm ripping these to my NAS box that I paid for, that I own, and I, it's mine. I don't need nobody's opinion. I just, I can watch whatever I want, whenever I want. That's what it is. And I, it's Plex. Plex is the media platform I'm using. Why did I choose this one? Because of the use and the price and it was reliable. What do you need to do this? That's what some of you are going to ask. I'm here to tell you this is, it's going to be upfront cost. It's going to be expensive. What is the price of your freedom? What cost do you associate with your freedom? That's the question. In this day and age, things are digital. And with everything being digital, it makes it very hard to to decide what price you're willing to pay to give up your physical media. Are you willing to give this up and let the corporate overlord buttheads decide what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and when you're going to do it? Are you going to allow them to do that? This software will release you from that. You buy the movies, buy the software, you rip it to a NAS box or to your computer. You can use anything. Literally, you can use your desktop computer. You can use a NAS box. You can use a server. I personally am using a NAS box, or it's a server, but a server-client relationship where all of the clients rely upon the server for the services. With all of this said, you need a Blu-ray drive. If you're going to rip these drive, rip these Blu-rays, 
you will need a Blu-ray driver. Don't judge me, everybody. I have one that I bought about 12 years ago or 11 years ago when we, we first moved here and I built a media server. And I built this box. It had, a, I think, a quad-core processor. My stuff now is way bigger. And I have, in that box, I've got about 7 terabytes usable. But now I'm down to about 4.8 or something like that. So think about that. 4.8 terabytes. That's a lot of data. You will also need some place to store all these things. You will need some place to store them. What I do is I rip these things directly into this NAS box. From my computer, it gets ripped, goes across the network to my NAS box. Well, through my switch, then to my NAS box. Basically, that's how I do it. And it works extraordinarily well. It works so well, man. Plex is the perfect. Now, the good thing about my QNAP, QNAP, disclaimer, I was not paid by them for this, nor am I ever probably going to be. I don't know. We'll see. I really like their devices. I like their software. The hardware, although, should be more beefy for the price I paid. I paid about 550 or so for the NAS box. No hard drives. That's just the RAM. 4 gig of RAM now. And that that's what I can honestly say. Okay, you have a choice. You can pay the money up front and buy everything you need and buy it and build it out the butt. Or you can pay the money and build something smaller. That's your choice. That's the beauty of it. It's your choice. With digital, you do not have a choice. You get They give you what they want you to have. That's why I, I decided to spend the little money. I mean, I spent 40 bucks. I've got everything already. So all I need to do is just put it into motion. So that's why I did what I did. In conclusion, with all of the things that I've, I've presented to you, you now have a direction to go. If you need any help from me with this, any help at all, reach out to me in the comment section and ask me questions. I can help you. I am more than willing to set you free from digital media and release you to the world of physical media. In my last video, I talked heavily about the influence that physical media had on me, why I prefer it over digital. Digital is convenient. Don't get me wrong. It, it is. The problem is that they have a bunch of crap that I don't want. They just don't they just have a bunch of stuff I don't like. I don't want. That's why I prefer or physical over digital. Don't get me wrong. It's kind of hypo hypo hypocritical to say, why are you saying you're against digital when you're doing it at your house? That's the point. I'm doing it at my house. I am in control of the whole thing. If it breaks or it's my problem, but I don't have to rely on corporate overlord buttheads for everything. So that is the reason I like, I like freedom. We're in the United States, y'all. We are a free society mostly. And with that said, I think that each and every one of you should embrace the physical media lifestyle. Release yourself from the renting and leasing corporate butthead overlords. And my friends, embrace freedom. Because in this world, you only get to be free one time. Make Make your choice, digital or physical, which will it be? My friends, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you so desire. May the Lord of heaven walk with each and every one of you and keep you at peace every day of your life. And if you want to know him more, reach directly out to me at Technology at gmail.com, and I will be more than glad to debate with you, discuss, or to lead you to Christ. It's your choice. And that's what I love about this country. It is your choice, people. Your choice. And until next time, everybody, peace.